Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Okay, things first, first. Um, I have a wrapped because it's so cold, but uh, Tim Hortons vanilla cream cold brew. <sighs> I have to stop, it's just too many, it's too much. I never drink Tim Hortons coffee, so I'm like, second thing. I don't know how well you can see these. Not well at all, actually. Oh, maybe, okay, so this is my sunburn. These, they're like a trouser pant, and they are Lululemon, and I got them at a consignment store, so there's no like zipper or anything. They have a little zip pocket in the back. So, what I'm asking is does anybody know what style these are? Does anybody know what to call these? I've checked on the website, I can't seem to find, like there was one sort of, there was one sort of like them, but not entirely. And I really wanna get another pair. Uh, but yeah, can't find them. They're cool, oh, there we go. That's totally better. So they're shiny, um, yeah, so that's them. So help a girl out. Not sure if you guys buy Lulu. Surely somebody does. Surely somebody has had these and loved them. What else do I need to tell you? New tattoo, that's been a couple of weeks ago. You might have seen that in the last vlog. Can't really remember. Um, I'm gonna start vlogging again. I'm gonna start vlogging more. And I'm gonna start showing you more. Like, I used to vlog a lot more when I was making orders like continually. I was constantly getting in new orders. So it was constantly like exciting stuff and fun stuff. And then I stopped ordering as much. I'm not necessarily using as much, but I'm, also, I'm just not ordering as much. I'm not spending as much money. Um, so I'm just gonna start showing you more life stuff. So let's start with today's purchase. So I started running again. I'd say again, like I was some sort of professional runner before or something. No. Um, so I got myself new sneakers. Let me set you up. Y'all get heavy sometimes. Okay, so I got new sneakers. I got them locally here in town, in my town. So I got Women's Night Revolution 5. So this is them. And I like them. They're just, this is quite pink actually. I have my light on because it's 110 degrees. Well, no, but it's like 40. And um, like 40 Celsius. It's hot, okay, it's hot. And it's starting to get really dark out as if it might be thunder. <laughs> These are them. <laughs> and the best part about them is that they lace up and I know that that is quite simple. However, I have an Adidas pair right now that they do have laces but they're useless. Like all of, all of this is fused together. So it makes it really hard to put them on and I dislike them greatly. They're literally going probably to the trash. Um, I've, I've really tried with them and can't make them work. But anyway, I really like these. So I cannot wait to try them out tonight. I did a short run last night. Um, so I should be able to do another decent run tonight. Okay, I also got these Under Armour shorts and they have a pocket. What's the side? I got them in like a large because I wanted them to kind of be, I like shorts to be bigger. Um, I'm not necessarily gonna run in these. I am gonna try to run in them, but that's not necessarily what I bought them for. And I got these headbands. So I'm super pumped about these because, short hair. Um, and I find when I'm running or exercising or outdoors or whatever, it really comes ahead. And that's not working for me. So I did get these and they have that, they have that like silicone, um, you'll see it bra strap kind of stuff on the inside so I'm hoping that I can keep these on because a lot of times I have a hard time they just slip up 
but these shouldn't be like that and it should also help me grow out my hair a little bit so that is exciting so another thing that's going on that i wanted to like let you in on i know make sure nobody's here for me i know that you guys what is happening it's the humidity that you guys are like plant obsessed right now so um, first things first, I cut like six feet or more off of this. I cut a large amount. So now it's like spreading from up here, which I love, but that's not why I brought you over here. This spider plant is flowering. Look how pretty that is. I was just so impressed. Like, look at all the little babies that's going to have. I can't wait. So yeah, that's what's new there. I did take all the cuts from the ivy and put them in there. Um, they're getting a little wilty, but you know, it is what it is. And then of course my makeshift curtain, cause it's hot as, hot as I can't think of anything derated to say. Um, but I don't want to put a blind up there. So I just taped those up there and I know it's ratchet, but that's all right. These plants make me so happy. And these Buddhas, yeah, aren't they great? And the salt, the basalts, I love that. So nice. Hey guys, good morning. So for those of you that were invested in yesterday's pant search, they are the Lululemon Shine Trouser. And I found them on Poshmark. So I bought them in a size smaller than what I'm wearing, but I think they'll be fine the way they stretch. Look at my sunburn. Woo, it's a good one. So that's that in case we're invested. Also, I have a question for people. I drive about 10 minutes to work from like the country to the town. Not huge, not way out in the country, just like 10 minutes in. And on my way to work today, I seen four shoes. Two that clearly didn't match and one pair. What are people doing overnight? Why are they leaving their shoes? What's happening? It's a bit weird. I'll be back later. Hey guys, good morning. It's another day. I don't know quite what we're gonna do today, but we have a long day. Oh. Sorry, that just really hit me. Um, no shoes on the way to work today, but I did see a shirt. So I'm gunning for pants for tomorrow. We'll see what I find. Also, Costco. Um, 1.2 liter. This one is iced coffee. This one is water. And I love them. Um, so if you were on the fence about them and if you've seen them at Costco, I would go ahead and get them because I really do love them. And yeah, I do fill that with iced coffee. I probably shouldn't, but I do. I've got the window open. It's so nice out there. It's actually like windy and cool. Like it was 10 degrees when I got up this morning. Not that you care. Hey guys, good morning. It is 20 after, 20 after seven. I've been here for a bit. I'm waiting for my client at 7.30, but I'm so disgusted with myself. I always make my glitter bells order, but when it comes, I put it on my notes. I make a note of what colors I have. So I have an alphabetical order list. It didn't take me long to do of gel polish powders. And I thought I had a list of loose glitters too, but I don't see it. Maybe I didn't where I don't have as many of those. But my gel polish, I realized it's been two orders since I put anything on my list. So now I'm backtracking, which I hate to do. Um, anyway, but if anybody has a system of how to like not order the same colors twice, I feel like this is the only system that really makes sense for me right now, but 
you guys might have a better idea. So drop it in the comments. Okay, so I have a little cleaning montage that I've been wanting to film and just haven't been able to do so yet. And I thought I'd include it at the end of this vlog. Um, okay, let's just get right to it. I'm just gonna tip you down and show you what I'm talking about and then we'll just get at it. Um, it's a mishmash of stuff. It's a weird mishmash of stuff, but let's take a look. Okay, so basically what I'm talking about is this set of Alex drawers. So this one doesn't close because this is where my phone cord lives so let's just start there <laughs> but these are the drawers that i'm kind of talking about these are the ones that i want to clean and reorganize i basically want to keep everything where it is because it kind of works for me but there's stuff in here that needs to go in the garbage that doesn't need to be here they're very dusty they need to be blown out or vacuumed out i don't think you can remove these drawers Maybe you can, seems like a hassle, but I will just vacuum them out and wipe them out. Um, some of this stuff needs to go in its actual homes. Uh, yeah, there's probably stuff that needs to go in the trash there. Like, you know, sometimes when I get a new brush, like I keep these because I think maybe if I need to transport my brush, you know, in a pandemic, like where am I going? But anyway, this is what's happening. So, I know that's probably noisy. So if you'd like to follow me through cleaning this, let's do it. So I'm not sure what I wanna do with this. This is a silicone hand that I made. It does have the tip wells in it, like it's been, it's been cut. It's a great little hand, it's not wired. This is kind of like, like the shape of it. So, you know, this is different than the uh, liquid chrome practice hands that I do retail on my website. However, if this is something you'd be interested in, if you want to contact me via Instagram or Facebook, Instagram is probably easiest um, under the same handle. There should be a link down below. Let me know. I don't want to throw it out but I don't really have a use for it because I have my liquid chrome practice hands. So let me know, let me know. Whoop, okay. Yeah, it just fell over. So I'm trying to think what these are. You know, I don't need them. These are old swatches. I've since redone most of these. Some of these colors I don't have anymore. Some of them I do. I don't know if they're worth going through and keeping. I may, geez. I may go through the Ugly Duckling ones because a lot of these are Ugly Duckling and pick out the ones that I do still have in my rotation. But the rest, I am gonna throw. I'm gonna leave these out so that I can go through them. But I just don't need all of those. I don't even use some of those because they're magic gel. And magic gel doesn't have good staying power on acrylic. Um, so I'm, I'm just not using them. A random empty jar. A nice little gift bag from Shoppers. It's probably unnecessary. Oh, and that's a cover from one of the Ikea. I'm gonna leave that in there because it does need a home and it does need to be kept. More mask paraphernalia. Lately, I've been using only disposable masks. So I'm setting aside my cloth ones for right now. And there's only like three masks left in this box, so I am just gonna like lay them on that box and throw this box out because it doesn't need to be in there. So, because that's cleaned out, I can now put my new Valentino filters in the drawer. Done. Okay, that was, that was pretty painless. That was pretty painless. Okay, these are gloves. They're gonna stay right there. That's where they've always been. 
These are the cylinders for new brushes. Do not need that many. Do not need that many. Do, <laughs> do not need that many. Oh my word, okay. That's a cap off of something that I don't also need. Let's start using this as a garbage bag. Uh, these are a new box of the Expert Touch wipes. And actually the wipes go in here. I don't think there's enough room to fill that, so I am gonna leave them down there. This is my uh, drill piece for my Medicool 35K. Um, I don't quite know what to do with it. It's in perfect running shape to my knowledge. It was in perfect shape when I put it in here. Um, I, I am gonna keep it maybe in a different location. I'm gonna find out first. I know somebody that also uses this drill and maybe she wants a backup hand piece. So I might actually leave it right in here where it's kind of within sight so that I remember to ask. I'm probably gonna black this out, black, block this out because it's gonna be noisy. Um, but this is my air like duster and I love it and I could not live without it and I'm gonna blow the dust out of this drawer because it's a little bit dusty, so. Okay, so there's that. So I'm gonna put this back in. There's a couple of like random elastics and a piece of cardboard. Uh, one of the pushers, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, one of the clamps, whatever, for the putty, artistic putty. A drill bit case, I always have them everywhere. Makeup sponges, you never know when you're gonna need those. Glitter, goes in the glitter drawer right beside it that I am gonna have to clean out at some point. Stay tuned for that. There we go, let's get my garbage can back. Um, the blush pink putty, probably, maybe never gonna use it, maybe gonna use it, maybe not sure. I have the Ugly Duckling one that I tend to reach for. This is a Fufu pink. A piece of twine probably doesn't need to be in there and another glitter that is going to go in the glitter drawer okay let's open this one now this is a little bit more of a struggle let's start into this okay so I have removal pads, like shellac removal pads. These are the only ones that were left in the box. There's like six in there. I'm gonna keep them in here because I did throw out the box. I also have a set of the cheap Amazon things to keep the removal on. I have a roll of forms for like really short, kind of wider nails. I have form <laughs> oh my oh my goodness okay I have a form I have a organza bag with some tips in it <sighs> I have an a gel X <coughs> excuse me um gel that has leaked out which is my own fault because it was upside down. Okay, so how are we gonna tackle this? These are drill bits that I'm not using right now. Doesn't mean they're bad, doesn't mean I'm over it, doesn't mean they aren't new, but it is a mishmash of drill bits and I am gonna leave them as they are because I do reach for these once in a while when I have a special need for a drill bit. And I kind of already am programmed to know that they're there, so that is, that's something I like to have right there. 
So this is a weird thing, but there is like no nail art in this drawer. This is not where I go for nail art, but when I need these two glitters, this is always where they are. So these are both, like this is a Glam and Glitz acrylic powder jar. This is a uh, CND pure white perfect color sculpting powder jar. But this is my mermaid glitter that I love to use. It's probably gonna be really hard to see. And this is my holographic glitter that I love to use. So I'm gonna have to put those back in there because that's just where I reach for those. This is a nearly empty jar of Ugly Duckling White. It always lives in there. Then I have my portable little USB plug-in light that I use when I'm doing a prey. Love this thing. It, if you follow my Amazon link, a lot of this stuff, if it's from Amazon, is in that link. It is an affiliate link. These are my Glitter Bells forms. So these are the clear ones that you would use like in a gel situation. However, I've used them with acrylic. There's no reason why you can't. A couple of those are really dusty, so I'm gonna cut them right off. I'm gonna blow the dust out of this. Okay, and I'm gonna continue working. So this is the cover for this doesn't go on well right now because I have those removers in them. I also have the pH bonder, the step one and the step two, the primer for the gel X. These are my gel X tips. Obviously there's something behind here. I'm gonna push those right back and I'm going to put those two things right there. and grab some paper towel and some acetone to clean this up down here where the gel spilled. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry. and clean this up where it has leaked. Okay, I set that right back in there. That wasn't too bad, I expected it to be worse. All right, so what else do we have here? This is the cord to charge this. So it is rechargeable, so I don't have to buy cans of compressed air anymore, which is so much better for the environment and for my pocketbook. Um, I have a few, um, gosh, what are words today? I have a few, you know, <laughs> sanding bands. Uh, I don't use them as a rule. However, I do keep them in case of emergency. Um, you never know when you're gonna wanna use those. And I also have more spare drill bits. I also have two brand new drill bits waiting to be used. So this is like drill bit heaven in here. So we'll put the new ones in there. We're gonna put that one in there and that one. And I'm gonna actually tuck that holder right in there. The holder was from Amazon as well. I have another of the Extend Gel. I thought there was a second one in there. Another drill bit. This is a drill bit, an Erica's drill bit case. I'm just gonna throw that right out because I don't use them. Put my forms back in. This is a glass slippers from Glitter Belt. So I do use that quite a bit. So I just st stick that back in there because that's kind of just where I always reach for that one. Like all of my other Glitter Bells are in a different drawer. But when I want the clear, I kind of just know that it's in there. 
and I'm not about moving stuff to make stuff harder for me. Like this is all about moving stuff to make life easier so that you're not reaching, digging, looking. Sometimes even when our drawers are a bit messy or what have you, like I'm not looking to move anything around today. I'm looking to just clean them, clean them out, clean the garbage out of them, um, clean the dust out of them, but essentially put everything right back where it was because this is what actually works for me. And this is like tried and true, right? Okay. So this is the last drawer I'm going to do because of time constraints and because this one is just really pretty good. Like this is where I keep all of my wipes that I wipe my brush on. So I just cut a lot, like a bunch of these this morning. This is also where I keep my drill, um, my e-file. Oh yeah, you can kind of see where the cord comes at the end. So I just use it and shut it and then put it back in. That way I don't have to worry about it ever getting dropped or anything like that. So that is where that goes. Um, and I am gonna leave it that way. This is a, I believe a Glitter Bells, a little Glitter Bells box, but I took the top off it and it works perfectly for wipes. This is where my wipes have always lived. These are my acrylic brushes uh, that probably belonged in those tubes that I just cleaned out of the other drawer. These are the three that I use. This is my Glitter Bells uh, 3D acrylic brush. You can get this. If they're in stock, I did not look. So if they're in stock, you can get them off the Nail Throne website. You can use code Liquid Chrome for 10% off. And that is where these two acrylic brushes came from as well. This is a size 10. This is a size 8. I use them both accordingly. This little stand was also purchased off of Amazon and I believe is in my Amazon favorites in the link below. There's a little wipe in here. I'm going to take that out. Move these back, take these wipes out. These are all old brushes that should be thrown out, but I can't seem to let go of. Actually, let's be realistic and let go of that one. Um, these ones, I'm gonna throw out that one. Those can stay. So, even though those are staying, I'm gonna lift this out, put it in a secure place. Same thing with these, and I'm just gonna like, knock this out to take any little bit of dust in it that was there. I have a ring for swatches that I'm gonna leave because I'm actually probably going to use that when I'm separating these ones from before. This is a little mixing palette from Magic Gel. I think these are great. It's like business card size and it's just great for mixing your colors. So I've left this kind of right where I can get a hold of it if I want it. Unfortunately, I tend to put colors like just out on the side of the bottle and use them from there. I don't really use a palette as much as, oh, there goes a brush, as much as I used to. But if it's within sight, maybe I will. I'm not messing with these files. This is where I keep my files. This is where I use them from. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna mess with them. I think that's gonna just be, it's gonna stay right there. Uh, these, these are the ones I use every day. Uh, I take them out of their package and put them in there and it works really great for me. I can just reach in and grab them. So those are gonna stay right where they are. I took a little bit of garbage out of there, a couple of, uh, cases for drill bits from drill bits long since past. So guys, I think that's where I'm going to end this vlog for today. I am done my day with clients. It's getting really cloudy out. I'm done my day with clients and I'm actually going to go see my massage therapist because I can't move. Um, like nail techs, do you guys go for massage therapy? Do you go for acupuncture? Do you go to a chiropractor? What do you do to keep all of this moving, especially at like the 10 plus year mark. Like I'm at the 20 plus year mark here, but at the 10 plus year, like what do you start doing to look after all this nonsense that goes wrong with us? Let me know down below. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. My videos aren't as scheduled as they used to be, but I am going to start posting a lot more. So if you subscribe, then you'll never miss a video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs>